What's up, everybody? It's your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV, and today we're going to be doing a full review on two fragrances, two hidden gems of fragrances from the house of Fakanable. And we're just going to start off with this one. This is from the house of Fakanable Regatta EDT Intense. Here is the box. Nothing too much going on with the box. Got the name of the house. Name of the fragrance, size and concentration at the bottom there. On the back, there's the name of the house. Down here is some ingredients. You got your batch code at the top there and the size of the bottle and all that good stuff at the bottom. Got the sticker here at the bottom. Cap snaps into place. The atomizer on this thing is beautiful. Beautiful atomizer. Pushes out a nice amount of juice. So what I got out of this fragrance is like a bright, juicy, citrusy accord that's like a lemon zesty type of a, uh, accord that's really uh, fresh, bright, and spicy, like a fresh oriented type of a spice in the opening. And the top of this fragrance, you get lemon, bergamot, and ginger. That lemon and that bergamot really gives it like a really heavy dose of some citrus and some, you know, some juicy, bright like tart like uh citruses like um it's not really too much like tart like but it does have like an aspect of it being like really deep rich yet fresh type of a citrus then you got that ginger that does have like that fizzy top note of uh like a soft sweet yet spicy type of a of core coming from that ginger and in the top is beautiful bright fresh spicy and the top is wonderful i really do dig the top in the middle you get some c notes some neroli and some cardamom the c notes is really like you know some type of like a little bit of a salty marine type of a touch that adds to the mid not too much but once that neroli uh comes in you get like a like a white floral citrus that's a little bit like bitter like kind of dense just a little bit not too much the neroli is like really really good it makes it very well from the lemon and that bergamot in the top beautiful and uh that cardamom gives it like a dry oriented type of uh sweetness you know not too much of a sweetness not like a heavy like winter like sweetness but it's there not too dominant you mostly get like more of like a fresh citrusy white floral aspect to the fragrance thus far from the top into the mid now, once you get into the base, you get some saddlewood, oak moss, cedar, and some musk. Now, that musk gives it a little bit of a dry, oriented type of an animalic touch. Not too animalic to the point where it is kind of displeasing, but it's there, not too dominant. Has a little light touch from that musk. Then the cedar gives it like a woody spice, as well as the oak moss giving like a somewhat of a inky, bitter, forest-like type of a you know, tree, like forest, like rainforest type of a smell that's hidden in the background in the back seat of this fragrance. But uh, the saddlewood comes in and gives like a, like a nice little warm, smooth, somewhat creamy aspect to like some woodiness to this fragrance. This fragrance is really, really nice. But some of you are probably asking, what is this fragrance compared to as far as like, you know, familiarity? I will say this one is a nice dupe of Azal Chrome, the original, the original Azal Chrome. However, this does its own thing slightly. It doesn't have that nostalgic old school appeal to Azal Chrome, but it does have that modern day touch to Azal Chrome. As as far as like you know, the comparison of those two, this is like a more modern day touch to. The OG, the Zara Chrome. As it lingers on my skin, it gets like a like a fresh citrusy type of smooth powderiness a little bit. Not too much of powderiness, it's just just like a smooth like old school appeal to it. Not too much though, not too much. It still has that modern day aspect to it compared to the original, but it does remind you a lot of the Zara Chrome. So the performance was actually. It was okay, you know, it was moderate. It wasn't a beast or anything like that, considering that we are in the beginning stages of winter. So this is not gonna push out 
a lot due to the cold weather. This is more of a spring and summertime uh, aspect of a fragrance that can be most suitable for those seasons. So even in the wintertime when it's cool, you know, I was just testing it out uh, for review purposes and it did its thing. I mean, it's not like, you know, very soft and unnoticeable. It's there, it's there. And it's pretty nice while it's there. But I'm pretty sure it'd be nicer once the hot heat, you know, once it gets a little bit warmer. This is gonna shine beautifully. I know it will because the, the notes in here that it blends very, very well, giving it like a beautiful, as all chrome aspect uh, to the fragrance. It's amazing, trust me. Oh, and it's $20. This cost me $20 at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Either or, I saw them both there, but yeah. $20. Age group, doesn't matter. I really hate, you know, clarifying like the age group of fragrances because it doesn't matter if you like it, wear it, no matter what age group. But you do got those people that want specifics of what it is. So you want my specific opinion on age group. This is more of, you know, it's more useful. Doesn't have too much of masculinity to this so for it to be worn by older gentlemen. This is more of you know, the youthful crowd to middle age, you know, around that uh, age bracket. But like I said, older gentlemen can rock this too. Does have a lot of versatility as far as age group and stuff like that, but not as much versatility as far as seasons though. Only spring and summertime. If you wanna wear it in the fall or winter time, that's on you, it doesn't matter. Didn't receive any compliments on this bad boy yet. You know, I haven't tested out at work. I just test out, test it out like I'm like out and about and stuff like that. So, haven't tested uh, you know, the compliment factor of this, which I pretty am sure is gonna get some compliments because this smells amazing. Trust me. For twenty dollars, this is not bad. So up next, we have for Carnival French Riviera, Riviera Eau de Parfum. Batch code and stuff like that at the bottom. There you go. Here is the box to Riviera Eau de Parfum. You know, same box, you know, got that little uh, blue stripe on the side right there. Same on the back, you know, nothing too much different. Batch code and all that stuff. You dig it. Now this one has gotten the most hype from my research and the videos I saw on YouTube and you know fragrance forums and stuff like that. Between the two, this one got the most hype and I can understand why. I could not find this once upon a time anywhere at rack stores until the holiday season. They have plenty of these bottles laying around. TJ Maxx, well mostly TJ Maxx, not Marshalls, but for $20 also, this is a good whopping $20 hidden gem great gem of a fragrance trust me overall this fragrance is like a smoky fruity warm spicy balsamic oriented aspect of a fragrance this is a amazing winter like fall winter gem of a fragrance for 20 bucks this is an amazing smelling fragrance in the top you get some incense some italian mandarin and some grapefruit that grapefruit gives you like a juicy citrus tart uh, vibe from the uh, grapefruit. The mandarin gives it like a, you know, like a orange, some more citrus actually from the, um, some more fruity orange citrusy type of aspect from the uh, mandarin. Then that incense is what really brings it some great character in the uh, opening. You know, make it more of a smoky, dense, you know, balsamic type of uh, oriented fruity smokiness to the top is amazing. I love the top. So in the mid, you get some red apple nutmeg and some eucalyptus. The red apple in here gives it like a subtle, not exact Hugo Boss bottle type of an apple, but it is more dense and smoky due to the top notes. And it's mixed in very well with those three in the top. It's ridiculously good to me. The nutmeg gives it like a sweet gourmati oriented spice and a eucalyptus. Well, that note kind of turned me off just a tad bit. I can smell it subtly, but it's not too dominant. It's there, you can tell, but that eucalyptus is like a woody fruitiness that it's like, blah. Uh, they could have left that out. They could have just kept it like the nutmeg and that red apple and been good. So they could have left that out. 
So in the base, you got some guide wood, white amber, leather, and patchouli. The patchouli in here in the bases shines the most. You got that, that forest, earthy, like sweet, you know, dense type of a, uh, aspect or a chord to the fragrance in the base. Then you got some leather. The leather is not too much, not really there, not too much. Cause you got too much like that smokiness and that fruitiness all over the place in those woods to the point where the leather is not really pushing out too well because of the other notes is that in my opinion i don't really smell too much of leather then you get that white amber that really brings a lot of warmth to the um fragrance and a guy would brings like some type of like a uh it gives like a uh like a woody sweet kind of a woody tart Kind of a woody earthy type of an aspect in the base that's pretty much it so compared to the azara chrome clone regatta compared to this one this one is more fall and winter this is more spring and summer do they smell the same absolutely not they go into two different uh directions as far as like scent profile notes all that and scent wise like the smell and stuff like that they go in whole two completely different uh directions if you were to ask my opinion which one it's kind of hard because you know they they do their own thing in different like aspects of in terms of like seasons this is like i said fall and winter spring and summer i like them both i really do love them both but i would choose this one because this one it has a little bit more character. It has a little bit more density. It has a more like sweetness. It has a, like a pill. It's appealing, you know, that would draw people in to like, you know, get like whiff after whiff after whiff. Not to clown on regatta though. Regatta is really good. But I, I like this one a lot better. So that's all I got for Scent Talk TV, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, you know what to do. You gotta like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there and be blessed. And have a good one. I'm out of here. Oh, and happy new year to each and every last one of you. I'm out of here. Peace. Ooh.